Welcome to episode 3 of the Speed Scoring series. Today's music is powered by Synchron Prime and the Big Bang Orchestra, thanks to Vienna Symphonic Library. So I'm using a mixed mic setup right out of the box, but to give it my personal touch, I also set up a custom reverb chain in Cubase. So you can see here in the reference picture, we see an elf and his horse, and they are engaged in some kind of conversation. And to me, this dialogue translates to kind of a musical call and response in this track. And I wanted to try to convey their emotions, and I want to use both minor and major chords to do this. So also try to listen for the solo woodwinds, uh, that's the elf's voice, while the horse, on the other hand, resonates through the kind of whole full orchestra sections, or at least full sections playing together at the same time. This track is set to be in 3-4, and for some devices I want to use harp clock and celeste as a combo. And I'm trying to rotate the solo woodwinds a lot, and I will start with a broad selection of the entire orchestra, but I will end with using softer devices and finally the harp clock and celeste together with the choir in combination. Right, so now we will go deep into the orchestration and see how this was done. And we're going to start by copying the melody down to the piccolo. Next up is using the clarinets to create an ascending counterline to the melody. Fill out the chord notes using English horn, oboe, and bassoon. Copy notes directly from the piano track into harp and add harp glisses. Use timpani rolls, grand casa, sustained cymbal, triangle, and tubular bells to accentuate the strong beat on one. Use the chords from the piano sketch, make them open, and spread them out in all the string sections. So next you will spice up the piece with pizzicato and piano doubling both harmony and melody and using children's choir to add an ascending counterline. Let's listen to the full orchestra section A1.
copy the melody voice to English horn and adjust to optimal range. Support it with harmony in oboe and clarinet and double it with choir. Now use suspended cymbals to create tension, tubular bells on the downbeat, and melodic percussion to use as a second voice to the melody. Next up is full string section using chord tones from the piano sketch. Celli is playing in ascending lines and bass pizzicato are playing for support. Trumpets A4 answering call in unison, copy it directly from the piano sketch. Support it with horns A4 one octave below. Next up is the full brass choral using notes from the piano chords. Let's listen to the full orchestra section A2. Next you copy the piano chords to harp and add a lot of glisses. So this one is a direct copy from the piano sketch, a classic device with flutes in melody and harmony in the choir. And then you'll add in the rest of the woodwinds, oboe in melody, one octave lower, English horn and clarinet doubling the choir. So next up is celli doubling melody, two octaves lower, glockenchelesse doubling melody, and strings doubling the low woods plus bass pizzicato for support. So next up is adding some new colors in the piece with horns A2 plus A2. So now you would add the full brass section for the completion of the brass choral part, ascending lines for an uplifting mood here. So in this one piccolo is doubling the horns plus adding trills in the last chord which is being held. Gran Casa plus timpani hits, suspended cymbals and triangle, tubular bells and celeste two octaves apart. Let's listen to the full orchestra section B1. A 
another classic device, harp in melody and harmony, and bass pizzicato for support. In this one, you will add the children's choir to create interest in an already familiar part. This one, you'll do melody doubling and counter lines using Glock and Celeste. So in this one, clarinet and bass clarinet plus piano is adding new harmony and color to the melody. Last question of A2 by oboe, doubled by flutes on a chordal bed of clarinets and bassoons. So this one is strings, full section, open high chords, closed low chords, and bass pizzicato for support. So finally, we're introducing the Glock, Celeste, and Children's Choir, as described in the beginning of the video. Alright guys, so that was the whole thing. Uh, please download the MIDI if you want to study the piece further or steal some of the devices for your own compositions. So thanks again to VSL for providing these excellent libraries. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.